China has lodged a diplomatic protest with Japan over a visit by a group of activists to a series of tiny islands at the center of a territorial dispute there. China says the visit is illegal and troublemaking. Meanwhile, Japan's prime minister has warned that it will use force against Chinese government ships if they attempt to land on the islands. <laughs> China has sent a flotilla to the disputed waters of the East China Sea Islands. The move comes in response to a group of 80 Japanese nationalists who entered the area and claimed to be surveying fishing waters. The Chinese presence is said to be the largest since Tokyo nationalized part of the island chain in September 2012. Known as the Diyu Islands in China, Beijing claims them as their own. And the Chinese ships are just the latest provocation in a century-old dispute. Japan has also been ruffling Chinese feathers. On Tuesday, the government sent nearly 170 lawmakers to a controversial war shrine. Seen by many in the region as a glorification of Japan's military past, it pays homage to military leaders who were convicted of war crimes. China, North Korea and South Korea have repeatedly complained that such visits are proof that Tokyo does not acknowledge the devastation of their colonial past. We understood there were three vessels in the area and then this morning up over the horizon come eight uh, Chinese surveillance ships. It is, as we know now, the uh, largest uh, such incursion by uh, Chinese vessels. They have been told to leave. The Japanese have summoned the Chinese envoy in Tokyo and told in no uncertain terms about uh, Japan's uh, protest to this uh, incursion, what they claim to be an incursion. And as we know now, there has been uh, very strong words from Shinzo Abe, the Japanese Prime Minister, saying that if there is any kind of landing on these islands from uh, people from these vessels, then they will be, as we said, forcibly removed. The Japanese Coast Guard says that it radioed a warning to the Jap Chinese ships to basically back off, and according to the Japanese Coast Guard, the Chinese response was, no, these are... Uh, this is Chinese territory. This has been uh, an area of friction in months past, uh, and it has also resulted in very heated rhetoric uh, from nationalists in both countries. Uh, we saw some very angry protests against Japan here in China last September after the Japanese government effectively nationalized, purchased a number of these uninhabited islands. A group of lawmakers has canceled a visit to Beijing after a request to meet Chinese leaders was refused. The vice president of the ruling Liberal Democratic Party was going to lead the mission next week. Masahiko Komura is the leader of the bipartisan group that promotes Japan-China friendship. The delegates wanted to meet President Xi Jinping and Premier Li Keqiang, but Chinese officials say the leaders are too busy dealing with domestic affairs. The Japanese lawmakers say friction over the Senkaku Islands could have played a role. Japan controls the islands in the East China Sea, but China and Taiwan claim them.